ended some toxic, uh, stagnant relationship where maybe you did all the work. So when Okay. Hello. 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 Aquarius. Okay. So, um, I don't know what the reading is going to be about specifically, but we're just going to pull some cards, have some fun, right? Um, all right, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So, you know, I'm going to ask the cards, what, what situation is going on for the Aquarius right now? What, what is the situation? A situation in love for Aquarius. Make sure, okay. What is the situation in love for Aquarius? Uh, the five of Cups. Clarify the Five of Cups, if you will. What's the situation in love? Okay. In the, what's that? The Page of Swords. Yep. Page of Swords. Okay. Um, all right. So some of you ended some toxic, uh, stagnant relationship where maybe you did all the work. Someone made you the scapegoat. They get, they gaslit you. Um, you just kept showing up for the relationship, not knowing where it was going. Uh, you carried the burden of this. Okay. Um, or it was, you know, cross watcher. Maybe this is what, you know, you did. I don't know. Um, somebody's disappointed five of cups or hurt, um, dissatisfied, uh, having regret and remorse, resentment for maybe how they treated you, what they did, how they couldn't get over the three of cups, how they would never look at the two of cups, how they were never really focused on a one-on-one -on -one relationship. They were always focused on the party, the, um, you know, having more than one person in their energy. It could even be that the person was always fo focused on social events or socializing or friends and maybe not their relationship. Now somebody is definitely in regret. Page of Swords spying. There's lack of communication. If there is communication, it is very little. So it doesn't turn into argument. This is what maybe you're doing, Aquarius. This is an Aquarius card. Someone may even try to reach out to you and argue with you, start an argument, pick something with you um, because um, they can feel that maybe it might be over for good this time. Um, this person also wants to know what you're doing because you're, you're separated from them with the nine of pentacles. It's definitely over for some of you. So they want to know what you're doing, how you're doing it. Definitely another page coming up. So there's lots of argument here. Uh, due to immaturity and it's a timing issue like the timing just isn't right for this right now um that's what's going on in love someone could be trying to use children or the children you know to get to you or to talk to you or to get information out of you could hear from this person in one to eleven days maybe of how they're choosing you or you were healthy for them or that this was a really good connection and they really want to be in this connection with you. Um, they took you for granted and they know it. And um, I don't know. It, it's just words. though. it's wordplay. There's no offer. Um, what should Aquarius be focused on in love? What should Aquarius be focused on in love? What should Aquarius be focused on? Um, the King of Pentacles. So getting a husband, honey, or maybe even getting money. Maybe you need to shift your focus. Um, power. Taking your power back. Be systematic. Take a systematic approach to love. Maybe even meeting someone new. Um, be analytical. Analyze. Don't just, you know, rest in that uh, naive type of energy. Sometimes at the Aquarius will rest in, you know, for a, a bit, but they won't stay there. Um, just be focused on being more rational, um, logical, mathematical is, is the king of pentacles. So make sure things add up. 
you know, if it just doesn't add up, it's, it's probably a lie. It's probably, you know, not the truth or it, it, something is off. Um, make sure that you go into any love relationship. I'm still holding your power. Don't give your power over. What does that mean? Um, so the equation for power is, uh, um, it's work divided by force over a certain amount of time, I believe. So it's just more so like, don't be in any relationship for an extended amount of time and you just keep doing all the work in the relationship and it's going nowhere because it is work divided by, you know, force or movement. And if it's going nowhere, then eventually that means you have no power because it's going to be, you know, zero. There's no movement, but you're just putting work into something. It's like you just keep hitting a brick wall. The brick wall is not moving. Eventually you're going to feel powerless. And that's how it is in this type of relationship that you were in or are in or that you're coming out of or you need to come out of. But what they're saying is in the next relationship, be focused on being in the power seat. And it doesn't mean that you have to lord over anybody or that you have to like, but I'm in power. You know, it's more so a subtle thing that you know about yourself. You're not going to continue to engage in anything that's going nowhere fast. You're not going to continue to show up for relationships when the other person is not showing up for it, when they put no energy into it, when they put no work into it, when they put no money into it, when they put no love into it, because eventually you're going to feel depleted and powerless. So the universe wants you to maintain your power in love. All right, let's see what else. Okay, they said two more cards. Uh, what I see. What does the universe want Aquarius to be focused on? Okay, I knew it was coming out. Six of Pentacles, the power dynamic. They want you to maintain that. Something about power. See, Aquarius gives, you know, and it and sometimes it can be unconditional. And at times, sometimes it could be that you want it to be reciprocated, but not in the same manner that you gave it in. If I give you a, a tennis bracelet, it doesn't mean that I, I then want... Um, a diamond ring or I want you know the equivalent of the tennis bracelet but I do want you to show appreciation in some manner and when you do that Aquarius with the six of pentacles here um, when you do it consistently and you don't get the uh, you don't get reciprocation then you can lose power you'll be in that power dynamic where in the six of pentacles is like a beggar and then it's the people who are giving and even though you were you are, you know, you were giving, you're still begging for this person's acknowledgement, for their um, approval, for them to at least reciprocate. So you want to be always be in the power dynamic of give and take, you know, um, equality. You give, I give. And it doesn't have to be in a manner of, you know, I did this or so you do this or tit for tat. No, but it does have to be where our energy is reciprocated. Okay, um, I feel good in this relationship. Um, I can quantify, you know, why I'm here as you can too. You know, the other person can quantify why they're in the relationship. So this is what the, you know, the universe really wants you to be more focused on tangibles in a relationship. It does matter. I, somebody, I heard somebody say it does matter. It does matter. And if you know that it matters, Type it does matter down in the com in the uh, comment section. It does matter. It does matter because let me tell you why it does matter. Because if you keep giving to someone and they don't show up in you know the capacity of um of showing appreciation or recognition, you know then you become that beggar in that six of pentacles. Almost like you just you know you're you're begging for just a morsel of um affection recognition they have the power now they have the power and they still have you giving they still have you waiting they still have you on the edge of your seat when your phone rings or when it dings hoping that it's a text or a call from them no so the universe wants you to be only in relationships that reciprocate where it's equal give and take all right one more card what does the universe want Aquarius to know in love? Okay, yeah, the devil card. Um, don't be an overgiver, overshare. Choose wisely. Don't get into situations with certain people that will lead you down the road of entrapment. What does that mean? 
It means that when you meet someone and they tell you about themselves or you learn about them just by way of small conversation and you know there's something that does not align with what you really want, maybe a husband or a wife, then have enough self-respect, uh, nerve, and um, enough fortitude to walk away. Don't be tempted by something that, you know, looks good or it feels good or maybe you think you can get in it and you can twerk it and shift it and move it around and make it be what you want it to be. No, accept things at face value. The devil is all about temptation. It also says don't be easily or willingly deceived. Some people just like it. You know, like shit, they look good. They smell good. They got a little money. You know what? Whatever. I'm going to just roll in it. No. And then down the line, you're talking about, oh, he toxic or oh, she toxic. Well, you knew what it was when you first met him. So don't be easily deceived. Um, make sure you're not going to get in something that's going to lead you down the road of having to untangle and unra unravel yourself out of this. Um, all that glitters is not gold. Don't be too extravagant in trying to get people to like you, love you, be with you. Don't lead with your money. Sometimes the six of pentacles uh, can talk about um, buying people or showing your affection by way of gifts or trips or money or whatever. Um, they want you to don't be codependent either. Don't make too much concession for people. Like, oh, well, he ain't got all his teeth, but that's okay. No, no, no. If you want somebody with all their teeth, then that, that's the standard that you're at. Okay? Like, you, you know, it is what it is. I'm sorry, sir. You don't have all your teeth. So, um, this is what the universe wants you to know. Okay? Um, okay. This is two cards from the Island Oracle. And then I will pull a few cards for career and finance. All right, let's see. What was Aquarius? Connection like in the past. Card flipped out. I knew it. Okay, Aquarius. I'm so happy for you. The axe. Dun, 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 dun. You gave somebody the axe. And you broke up with them or there was separation. You stopped the pattern. You gave somebody a solid treatment and abandonment. Now, someone could have done this to you, you know, but at the same time, maybe it turned out for your good. You know, sometimes rejection is protection. Okay. And you might have done this because again, they did not give enough, not enough. All right. Uh, you were frustrated in the relationship. There was fear and uh, ego issues, um, lack of confidence and just forward movement. You just like, this ain't going nowhere. Um, all right, let's, let's see what the energy is for Aquarius right now. I'm going to do past, present, and future. All right, let's see. Energy for Aquarius and love right now. Okay, very nice. Girl talk. So you're going to, um, and this could be guy talk too. So uh, time with your friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. Hot girl summer. Hot boy summer no. all right Aquarius I love it I love every bit of it don't forget to type down there in the comment section it does matter it does matter um maybe some you know maybe that was significant maybe you dealt with people who say oh that didn't matter or that doesn't matter maybe you used to bring up things and they used to tell you that type down there it does matter shit um Let's see what Aquarius uh, future energy and love is. Aquarius future in it. Okay. So in the future, separation, missing you, thinking about you, so yearning, unsure of their future. This is the other person. You, so I think this comes out because the universe wants you to get ready and prepare for all of those emotions that you're going to feel from the other person. They may be feeling this. Therefore, you're going to feel it, especially if you guys were like twin flames or soulmates. And so you're going to feel that this person is missing you, yearning for you. That doesn't mean go back, Aquarius. It just means they're going through it. And, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, it says receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So you get the boat coming. All right. So just continue to go forward. Don't go backwards, Aquarius. All right. Let's see career and finance for Aquarius. What do we have? Career and finance, career and finance messages. Where is the Aquarius in career and finance? All right, two cards came out. 
Very nice. The chariot and the king of cups. So you focus, baby. Trying to get some stuff done. You're working. You could be working two or more jobs. You're focused on your career, your finances. Nothing is really getting in, in the way, especially not love or, you know, all this other stuff. Um, the King of Cups is focused on business, business matters. Um, you could do something creative for work. Um, nine of Pentacles. So this is where you are, Aquarius. Abundance. You have more than enough. Um, rest in that energy. Uh, learn ways of how to make more money. Um, how to have a wealth, long-term wealth uh, here. So learn what to do with your money, how to grow it to that Ten of Pentacles. It just looks like you're focused. You've got some short-term goals that you're trying to crush and it looks like you will just keep going aquarius whoa at the bottom of the deck look guys ten of pentacles so you already think so should you thinking of a master plan let me know what it is um you need a business partner Aquarius. um so um yeah some of you are on, the, on your way you know, this could be the acquisition of real estate. This could be marrying into money. Some of you just on your damn way. I'm so proud of you, Aquarius. Stick with it. Don't go backwards. Do know that you will be tempted from the past. Do know that you will be tempted with new people um, with different faces, but they act just like the old person. Be strong enough to walk away, Aquarius. Know what your end game is. Write it down too so that you see it and it's before you each and every day. Post it on your mirror. Post it wherever you would see it. You what your end game is, whether it's in career, finance, or love and romance, so that you never forget. So when you meet that bum, you get, you know, and it sounds he sounds good and things looks like it's going good, but then you go home and you see what you wrote on your mirror and you say, Oh hell no, I gotta delete his number and block him you know so it's just a reassurance and um it keeps you on a straight and narrow okay aquarius so write that down get it somewhere where you can see it each and every day all right so um i think i'm gonna leave that here for you the ten of pentacles um it says affluence the transference of wealth also S some of you about to get into something that is going to give you wealth it could have something to do with uh cars too or travel or something that you do in a car. I don't know. Um, damn, that's good. I'm just leaving there. I'm, well, I'll get one future energy. Where was Aquarius in the past in terms of career finance? Where was the Aquarius in the past in terms of career finance? You were in your thoughts. You were thinking of what you could do, thinking of a master plan, uh, thinking of who would help. If you needed a business partner, thinking of how you can get it, how you can do this. Where is Aquarius right now, this very time? Where is the Aquarius right now at this very time? Very nice. Toil and labor. You're working hard, baby. But you got to get it done. You understand that this is only temporary. The 8 and a 3 turns into an 11. This is your manifestation. Uh, this is what you manifested. And right now, it may be hard work. Maybe even getting something off the ground. Or looking for another outlet. But it is what it is, and it, it, it's not going to last long. But this is where you are right now. Let's see the uh, future energy for career, career finance for Aquarius. Career and finance for Aquarius, future energy. Career and finance for Aquarius. Whoa, the privileged lady or the privileged man. This is equivalent to like the nine of pentacles, but she is married in this deck. When you read the actual book, um, she is married to the wealthy man. So keep that in mind. Um, so you could marry into money. I did get marriage. It's like your hopes, your dreams and wishes are coming true because you learn how to work with spirit, be a co-creator in your universe, in your existence, rather working against it or working against your own self-interest. So that's really, really good, Aquarius. Um, you're gonna be at a place where you know, you're just abundant. You can do, you just privileged, you know? If I wanna eat out every day of the week, I can. Some of us might not choose to do something like that, but if I want to, I can. If I want to buy this, I can buy it. If I wanna go here, I can do it. If I wanna travel, if I wanna, you know? So this is really good, Aquarius. It just looks like you worked really hard to get here literally toil and labor 
and then in the future it's gonna be easy street so this is what i have for you aquarius if you want to get your own personal reading to see what your career and finance looks like especially if you're starting a new business endeavor whatever it is you're doing get your own personal reading at the website level go to the community tab here on youtube first get a discount code and then head over to the website and book your own reading phone readings are i feel like the best um, but i do have a 10 minute video recorded reading where you can book that also and if you want to know what love looks like for you, uh, if you're still shaky about it, if you should allow this person back into your life, we can drill down on that too in a reading. So if you want to get a reading about that, we can do that too. Also, if you're in a place of you let someone go and you want to be protected from all negative energy um, and you really want to heal from this, get yourself one of the um, amethyst bracelets, okay? They've been blessed. Um, it's really good for healing. And then also you can get one of the black tourmaline bracelets for protection, Aquarius. Yes, the black tourmaline bracelet, uh, protection um, and foresight just to, to see and, and intuition also a little bit of intuition in there, definitely. So uh, Aquarius, this is what I have for you. Bracelets will be linked below. The website is linked below. Take advantage. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.